Thanks, Sarusa. Um, my presentation will be fairly short and sweet because as Melina outlined, um, no detections have occurred further south than Bundaberg. I mean, early on with some of the movements, we were a little bit concerned um, just to get an idea of where it may turn up. And some of the modelling suggested there may be some favourable climates in northern New South Wales. That and combined with some hosts around at the time, uh, we did play some trapping out in the northern parts of New South Wales. And that was just to give us an idea of um, whether we're getting any movement and also get prepared for next season when we'll do some more extensive trapping. So initially, um, between the DPI, um, plant biosecurity and the LLS teams, there were 15 sites across the North Coast region in a range of crops. And obviously, as I mentioned, none have been detected, which is great. We also put some um, traps out in, in areas around the border up near Moree where there were some late crops like sorghum. But the two things that are, are changing rapidly now is that the temperatures are dropping which is obviously not favourable and, and we don't have that many receptive crops. So much of what we're doing is planning towards next season where we will have a wider range of uh, traps out and that probably will extend through the central west and down into the Riverina. So when we do get that out or if industry are considering having any traps out themselves, um, at this stage, because we don't have full army wearing, it's still considered prohibitive matter, which means it's notifiable or you've got to contact us at biosecurity if you happen to come across it. And that helps us with the reporting and, and identifying um, where a potential may have moved. So there's a couple of ways you can do that in New South Wales at the biosecurity um, email address at DPI or through the exotic plant pest hotline. And if uh, people are doing some checking or traps, we will be able to provide them some diagnostic support, um, certainly while it's still considered prohibitive matter. So in the, I guess in the interest of keeping things short, I'll end it there. And just remember, uh, we will be looking again next next season, but probably expect it to be more of a migratory thing that will come in occasionally. And uh, we'll get more concerned when it's moved a little bit further south in Queensland, but we're getting ready for the next season when it's a little bit warmer.